Y'all, we got some juicy product report news this week. Oh my goodness, we have stuff going on at Blend Bunny Blend. They had to discontinue one of their palettes because somebody brought a, like put a cease and desist out against one of their palettes and it is so ridiculous. I have just Blend Bunny Blend's side of this because they didn't release the name of the brand that gave them the cease and desist, but I'm really interested to hear what you think about that. We also have Euphoria responding to the reaction of their terrible shade range that they launched for their foundation. They've now launched new shades of their foundation, but is it too late? And at the top of the indie brand news, I believe this is an exclusive story because one of our hunters heard from Shroud Cosmetics. Shroud Cosmetics fell off. There were a lot of people waiting for their orders and she finally got an email back. I'm gonna share with you what they said and what the owner of Shroud Cosmetics said about what's going on with her brand and why she's completely disappeared. So if you're interested in all of those stories and so much more, all the products that were released this week, uh, all of the sales that are happening right now, hang tight, we're about to get into it right now. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to What's Up in Makeup, where we talk about everything that was launched in the makeup space all in one place. Before we get started, just very quickly, in case you missed yesterday's top news, I have a brand new candle collab with Candles by Victoria in honor of us and my coffee drinking. <laughs> Maybe your coffee drinking when we're sitting and we're having live chat and we're drinking coffee together. This is called Coffee with Friends. It is coffee and salted caramel scented. It is gorgeous. Let me show you up close. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. These are handcrafted, hand poured candles. I pulled this down because you want to make sure you pull that down before you burn it. But they're just absolutely beautiful. There's also a straw in the back. Make sure you take that out too. But I wanted to let you know that these are now available and the affiliate link for this collaboration will be down in the video description down below. And with that being said, let us talk about Blend Bunny Blend. Oh my gosh. So they're discontinuing their sugar grunge palette because they got a cease and desist. I'm gonna go ahead and read the Instagram post and then we'll talk about it. So here we go. It has been brought to our attention via a cease and desist letter that a tiny local brand believes they own the rights to the word grunge. I know. I won't name names because they don't deserve a single new eye on them or the clout they're seeking. While there's no way this could be true, and they have a very tiring fight ahead of them if they want to try to do this with the likes of a billion and multi-million dollar brands using the word, it's much more my style to flip the nonsense off my shoulder and move ahead gracefully. Sugar and Grunge was a really fun collection, but to avoid engaging in a fight that is truly beneath the brand, we will be selling off our Sugar and Grunge palettes at 50% off and moving on to the bigger and better things we have coming this year. I don't need to keep this one in my arsenal when I have so many beautiful products and collaborations to look forward to. To get this beautiful palette at 50% off, use code GRUNGE with a wink emoji. <laughs> what is sad is if this local brand had chosen to try to collaborate versus sow a seed of yucky karma, I probably would have gladly supported them and found a way to spread the word about them as they're a small business in my city and woman owned. It's always so much better to do things with beauty and pure hearts versus competition and negativity. And that is where the post ends. So I went over to the Blend Bunny Blend website and I noticed that the palette is sold out. And this is something that's really weird because when I was researching for last Friday's video, which was the top 10 weirdest makeup collabs of all time. I was looking into the Glam Light Cheetos collab and I found an old video from Giselle from Glam Light. And in that video, she really dug deep into situations just like this one because this happened to Giselle many, many years ago with the name Glam Light. And she decided to fight it. She spent tens of thousands of dollars fighting to keep the name Glam Light, to keep her Instagram. They wanted to take her Instagram. Like it was a mess. And when she stood up for herself after paying tens of thousands of dollars, she ended up winning. They just dropped out because they realized that they couldn't bully her. But that was for the name Glam Light, the website, they already had products. So it was a much bigger thing than just one individual palette. But what Giselle was saying is that this is common. This is something with what she called people with deep pockets will do to small businesses to bully them in order to make money and also try to decrease any possible competition. So I can totally see why Blend Bunny Blend just decided to let this one palette go because is it really worth tens of thousands of dollars just to keep this one palette? 
Probably not. I'd be curious to know whether it's a makeup company or not. That would be my biggest curiosity, but who knows? As I'm thinking about this, I was like, this would make a really good live chat topic. So maybe next week, that's what we'll talk about. And maybe we'll pick through Giselle's video because it was absolutely fascinating. Let's move on and talk about euphoria. So last fall, Hello, Editing Jen here. Uh, so I just realized that I made an absolutely em super embarrassing mistake. Uh, I didn't realize that this creator that I'm about to talk about, that my <laughs> software accidentally autocorrected her name from Gloria to Galleria. And I knew that sounded weird when I said it, but I didn't double check it. And that is 100% on me. So I apologize to Gloria for getting her name wrong. And that is what I absolutely needed to tell you. So now I'm going to play the clip of Gloria talking about the Euphoria Foundation. Posted a review of the Euphoria Date Night Foundation that was advertised specifically as inclusive. And of the 15 shades available, the darkest shade did not match her skin like she thought it would. And the reason why she thought it would is because the model on the Euphoria website looked like was her skin tone. But then when she actually got the foundation, she felt like she was tricked into buying it. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Date Night Foundation. Foundation. I feel like I've been lied to so bad. This is what the shade looks like online, and this is what the shade looks like on the model. As we can see here, somebody is lying. There is no way these are the same two shades. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Do we see each other? Rubbish. I bought two new bottles of the Euphoria Foundation to see if this was just a production issue or if this is just the shade. One pump of my original bottle. This is the darkest shade. One pump of the new bottle. This is the darkest shade. One pump of the last, the third final bottle. This is the darkest shade. If we want to talk about integrity, let's talk about integrity. To release a complexion launch, right? And advertise this as your darkest shade online. This as your darkest shade on the box. This as your darkest shade in the bottle. But this is how your actual shade looks like on skin. Goes far beyond integrity, you guys. Euphoria founder Fiona Cochan issued two apology videos. And if you're issuing two apology videos, then chances are the first one didn't go so well. And that's what happened here. We announced that we were going to extend our shades of foundation on the day that I launched our foundation. In a lore article dated back in September, I told them at our launch event that I planned on extending the shades soon. After launching my fair share of flops, it was always my intention to launch this as a proof of concept, see if people even liked the base formula, figure out if the entire project is such a flop that we have to start over and everything that we've ordered just goes into landfill or we can kind of extend and expand. So working on shades and shade development, I've actually been working on some of this before we launched the foundation. But I always wanted to make sure that I left some room where I can actually take direct feedback. I love it when you guys send me feedback, especially videos, visuals. It's just super helpful for me. All of that ends up going into a really big document. Then it goes back to the lab. Then we do a lot of in-person shade development to make any other adjustments. So additional shades are coming. There's something that I've been actively working on before we launched our foundation. But shade development does take time. Sometimes there's some nuances with time of the year that we are developing shades. So for example, summer shades look different than winter shades, especially if you're someone who changes undertones as you get a little bit more tan. These are all kind of things that we're working through. So of course, Galleria and other people like Jackie Ino were like, why are we an afterthought? This really sucks. It's always my intention to launch this as a proof of concept, see if people even like I'm a brand founder myself and I understand why this woman gave this response, but here's why I'm going to tell you it's also bullshit because it just is. Because it just is. Like, you honestly don't think black people have not heard this same response for how many years? Probably since the dawn of beauty's existence. Well, in a mass scale, like the way that it exists now. And the reason why this excuse is BS is because you're basically saying anybody that is lighter than a tan is going to be the case study for this product, okay? They're going to test it first. They're going to see if they like it. They're going to see if they approve. It's a, a proof of concept, as she phrased it. And this is not the first of its kind. This is the reason why, when I first started my YouTube channel, I really, really prioritized this specifically in the beauty industry, why that specifically needed to change. Because what you're inadvertently saying is that anybody that is in dark skin is the default. And if they like it first, then the rest of y'all will get it, okay? The rest of y'all will get it. After they see if they like it first, the rest of y'all will get the crumbs, the leftovers. You're basically saying that everybody else is an afterthought. That is what you're saying. And what I think a lot of brands 
really re refuse to do as especially as because let's even use the worst case scenario you're a small business right you cannot just launch a product for everybody i get it products cost money development costs money everything costs money especially when you own a brand but here's what you do you don't <laughs> like keep that shit in the back stock we don't want it i don't want it unless you're either willing to do two things one make it available to everyone and if you can't as a small business it is okay and that's understandable what you need to do and i looked at your website you aren't doing this by the way what you need to do instead if you can't launch this product for everybody is make sure there's an even ratio of light shades an even ratio of medium shades an even ratio of dark and a medium ratio of deep dark that means if the most you can do is your tan baby you better divvy up that 10 from lightest to darkest i don't want to see 10 variations of the same fair shade with multiple different undertones and then the here y'all always begging for something all the way at the end of the spectrum two shades that are flexible because that's that's not what y'all say but the gag is y'all give them like last four shades the flex like here make it work make it work but why don't fair fair skin i don't even like the word fair let's start there why don't light people have to make it work why not if you don't have the money to really fully launch this the way that it deserves to be launched, don't do it. Science, skincare, cosmetics, it's always, they will get it when we're done with it. We will make it available to them when we decide if we like it first. Think about how, what kind of message that sends off to people. I know I'm on my soapbox. I'm sorry. I just thought that this was a terrible response. And I think that this is feedback that a lot of brand founders can actually use. So if you do use it, I'll invoice you. Thank you. So then Fiona put out a second video. I just want to come on and say that I'm extremely sorry. When I first started Euphoria two years ago, all I wanted to do was create a space where individual beauty could be celebrated. And unfortunately, with our latest launch, we just fell short of that mission. I know I could say we're just a tiny brand and that just doesn't excuse the fact that some of you guys do not feel seen or included and that that is unacceptable. I'm extremely sorry that we did not do a great job by, this, by you guys with this launch and with this product, but I'm trying to learn to be better. I've already set up time with community leaders and experts on the best way that we can improve. But for now, just know that we already have additional shades in development and that all the photographs on our website reflect the shades that we actually sell. We would never alter the tones of our photos before posting that online. There'll be more coming from us shortly. We'll keep you guys posted. And if you guys would like to be part of the change, we're always looking for community feedback. According to a report in Beauty Independent, rather than release the next 10 shades in 24 months, which was the original plan, the brand and factory reduced the timeline to four months. 24 months to four, that is, that is huge difference. Oh my gosh. But then when Beauty Independent talked to Fiona about it, she said, quote, there's limitations in ter the terms of the number of shades I can do, but there's things I can control. The distribution of the shade family, that's something, and putting feedback into action as quickly as possible, but doing it thoughtfully. She continued, for certain product lines, it's okay to launch with a limited assortment, things like blush or lip color. I think for other product lines, like complexion, my advice to young, my younger sister, Self, six months ago would be to wait until you actually have more resources and you're a little bit bigger. This past week, Euphoria did launch those 10 shades to extend the range. She says about half of the foundation's 25 shades are medium to deep now. The extended shade range is now available in 525 Ulta Beauty stores. Also, Credo's website will carry the broadened suite of shades. But the question is, will people give Euphoria a second chance? Because there are so many brands now that are inclusive, truly inclusive, and doing their best to make sure that everybody feels welcome with their brand. And people are just tired. They're just tired of being an afterthought. And a misstep like this sometimes will lead customers to just never try the brand again. So I'm personally curious how this is going to go in the long term for Euphoria. I'll be keeping my eye on it. The next thing I want to share with you is a collaboration between two women-owned brands. We have have Mayel and The Lip Bar, which is rebranded to TLB. In celebration of Women's History Month, they have collaborated on a new limited edition 
Collection Lipstick. The collaboration unites two influential Black women founders, Monique Rodriguez, CEO of Myel, and Melissa Butler, who is the CEO of The Lip Bar. The limited edition TLB Nonstop Liquid Matte Lipstick Shade in Myel Pink is now exclusively available at Target in-store for $13.99 and will be sold until mid-May. Melissa, the founder of TLB, said in a press release, quote, This partnership is a testament to sisterhoods creating legacies. Both of our brands found success thanks to the queens in our communities uplifting us as Black women entrepreneurs in the beauty industry. I've seen this buzzing around for a couple of weeks, but we're, we finally have a launch date on the new Danessa Myrick's Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. It is coming on March 19th at their website. The brand Instagram says it is inspired by the endless magic of self-love. This is groundwork reimagined in hues of pinks, berries, and magentas for every skin tone for face, eyes, and lips. And I know a lot of you are so excited about this palette. I also want to mention that launching on March 12th, Kaja has the Dewy Bar Cheek and Lip Multi Balm. It'll be both on their website and at Sephora. It looks like there's going to be six shades all together. Now let's talk about the Shroud Cosmetics thing because I have been trying to get in touch with Shroud. I have sent them DMs on Instagram. I know a lot of you have been trying to get in touch with Shroud. I don't know if you all heard back from them as well or if it was just Samantha from our Facebook group. I would imagine a lot of people are now hearing back. If you've never heard of Shroud, they are, were a very reputable indie makeup brand. They worked with Betty Jean from Batty Bean. They did two palettes with her. People talk about how great their quality is. I've never tried anything from them, but I've heard nothing but great things from the community. And what happened was, is they were launching the Dark Academia palette, right? And this was mid-November. They launched it. They had all the orders come in and then everything just fell off. They stopped posting on Instagram. They weren't shipping out the orders. Like it's, it's this is mid-November. We are now early March. It's been that long where it's just been completely ghosted. They're not answering emails. They're not answering Instagram messages, just nothing nothing. So this is the big update we've been waiting for. And I thank Samantha so much for sharing this with the community. This is the email. Hi, Samantha. Thank you so much for reaching out. Firstly, I am so, so, so incredibly sorry for the complete lack of communication and failure to ship your order out. Without going into detail, something occurred in my personal life that caused me to be unable to work for an extended period of time. I am currently on the mend and working on orders as we speak. I saw that you opened up a dispute with your bank for your order and I absolutely do not blame you for doing that with the total lack of communication on our end I would have done the same thing again I'm so sorry for the frustration my absence has caused best Chloe Samantha said that she did get her money back from her bank back in February because of course it's like if you order something mid-November and you haven't heard anything by February, you know, you're going to assume you're not going to get your product. I mean, going through the whole Glamour Dolls Lisa Frank thing and losing my 75 bucks, I would have done the same thing. And Chloe said she would have done the same thing. But if you did not do that, if you did not ask for a refund from your bank, you may still be getting your Dark Academia palette. I will keep my eye on it and let you know what happens next with Shroud, whether they put up a public statement. I'll keep you posted. In other other indie brand news this week. Let's talk about Nomad Cosmetics. They are launching their Ireland Wild Atlantic Way palette. Uh, it is launching March 12th. It is an 18 pan palette. They say it will not be limited edition. They plan to have it for at least 12 months and they will restock if they do sell out. $49 USD or 49 euros. For EU shipping, they said all EU based customers will now be shipped from their EU warehouse located in Ireland. Ireland. So all custom charges are included in the EU pricing. Shipping costs are calculated separately at checkout. Moira Cosmetics, the Love Steady Liquid Blush Collection, is now available in six new shades. Adept Cosmetics, a cyborg palette, very, very cool, will be available on March 15th for $79. This is also not limited edition. Gourmand Girls released the Nueva Vida palette in collaboration with Steph's Beauty Stash, $52.99. There's nine mattes, one satin, two multi-chromes, and two duochromes. And we're going to be talking about it because it's on my eyes today. Hang tight for PR Purchase Product of the Week. I'll, I'll do some swatches for you. But if you are wondering what's on my eyes, 
It is this. Nikia Joy Cosmetics launched a new makeup melting cleansing balm. $35. You can choose between a papaya scent or a blueberry scent. What? Sounds freaking amazing. Now let's move over to Sephora. We have shade extensions from two different brands. House Labs High Power Eye, Cheek, and Lip Pigment Paint, $24. Two new shades in Sapphire Matte and Magenta Shimmer. And then we have from Mara, the Sea Silk Lip Balm, $26. New shade called Nude Beach. On to the new new. Very excited in the community. People are very excited about the new makeup by Mario. Master Matte's eyeshadow palette, The Neutrals. It is $50. They they say it is a first of its kind neutral toned eyeshadow palette with 12 creamy buildable shades curated for every skin tone with a feather light matte finish. And I was, I, I was looking at it, I was like, it's saying creamy. And then I'm thinking about like the Huda Beauty creamy palette. And I'm like, is this going to be creamy too? Like, is it actually creamy or is it like not too powdery cream. It looks like it's just a powder. It's not like creamy like Huda's. So it's not creamy creamy. They're just trying to say that it's not dry. So it is now available on Sephora's website along with two different brushes, the E6 Dual Ended Eyeshadow Brush for $24 and the E7 Dual Ended Eyebrow Brush for $18. Next we have from Dior some new lip pencils, the Rouge Dior Contour No Transfer Lip Liner Pencil, $35 each. There's six shades. Description looks pretty basic. I mean, it's a lip liner. They say it's a no transfer, long lasting lip liner pencil that extends lipstick wear up to two hours. Some new mascara sets from Too Faced. We have the Better Than Sex Primer and Mascara Duo for $39. You do get full sizes of the Better Than Sex Mascara and the Four Play Primer. They're typically $29 each, so you're gonna save yourself about 10 bucks on the bundle. Twice the Better Than Sex Mascara Duo is $40. You get two of the Better Than Sex Mascaras in that bundle and then the mini lashes and lips on the fly primer mascara and lip plumper set that is $35 you get minis of the better than sex mascara the foreplay primer and the lip injection maximum plump lip gloss coming soon over at Sephora from milk makeup the cloud glow priming foam with brightening turmeric $28. They say it is a skincare packed priming foam that visibly brightens and hydrates to bring out your skin's natural glow and create a smooth base for makeup. I looked at this and I hate to say it, but the ingredients look pretty good on this. I was like, foam? Nobody wants a foam primer. Like I was being all snobby about it and I was like, it's probably junk. Like the ingredients are probably crappy. They weren't. And I'm actually... <laughs> Sometimes I'm wishing on the downfall of a hokey product, not to be mean, but just because it seems really hokey and I can't on this because it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, lots of antioxidants and humectants mostly. There's also lactic acid, which is a gentle chemical exfoliator, which is really nice to have in here because it could make your skin look brighter and less dull and also might have skin barrier strengthening effects as well. So it does look like a nice product. I'm gonna admit it. I think Milk Makeup is on a revival. There was a while when they were pretty like blah boring, but they're on their way back up, I feel. I think that they are. Next, let's talk about Isle of Paradise, the Sunny Serum Instant Face Bronzer, $34. A liquid bronzing serum that instantly illuminates to deliver a bronzed glowing complexion, supercharged with ingredients to hydrate and nurture the skin. And thank goodness that they not say anything about holiday, you know, having a tan for holiday because last week, Last week, Iconic London had a very similar product and it was like, you know, the hol you know, look like you're glowing for holiday goodness. And I'm like, why are you going to glow for Christmas? <laughs> like an idiot American, like not thinking it's Iconic London. Of course, holiday means vacation in London. So it makes sense. Like why? I don't know. I just, I was speaking off the cuff and I just did not think that through. So therefore... I will never make that mistake again. At least I will try my best not to. Anyway, let's move on to Huda Beauty. We have the Faux Filter Shiny Non-Sticky Lip Gloss. Seven shades, $19. They say it is a hydrating, non-sticky lip gloss for high shine lips that visibly smooths and blurs fine lines. I imagine this is one of the last launches we will see from Huda Beauty before the rebrand. And then finally at Sephora, we have from Wespin Atelier, the Lip Suede Hydrating Matte Lipstick with Hyaluronic Acid. It is $50. There are 10 shades. Yes, 50 dollars for a lipstick this is what gets me because I get you know luxury makeup I get it it's going to be at a higher price point but the ad says it has hydro suede technology what does that mean 
Wes Benatelier, what is hydro suede technology? Stop making up random shit and putting words together and calling it technology. It makes no sense. Like what happened to us last week with the Choco Mint technology, like what are we doing? What are we doing? Goodness, hydro suede technology. What the heck are they? <laughs> but what it is, is it does have hydrating ingredients in it. That's what they're trying to say, but they're trying to say it in a way that sounds like unique or whatever. Literally, they're just making it up. So it says, it's a hydrating matte lipstick infused with hyaluronic acid and peptides that plump lips and soften lines. Nourishing vivid pigment that doesn't feather. Fair, fine. They're trying to stand out. I get it. But as consumers, we just need to keep our eye out for weird, funky marketing and things that just don't exist. <laughs> Moving over to Ulta, we have the Too Faced founders, Jerry Blandino and Jeremy Johnson with their line Polite Society and two new products. We have Polite Pops Powder Blush Stick. It's $28, comes in six shades. They say it combines the blend, blurring, and build of a powder with the easy to apply, moisturizing, rich color of a cream. It is kind of amusing. If you click on the ingredients on Ulta's website, it says that the key ingredients are coastal plants, love and vitamin E. It says it's formulated without parabens, gaslighting, talc, cruelty, mineral oil, PEG, silicone, and paraffin. I guess because it's not part of the official ingredient list, it's just like what they're saying, you know, their highlighted ingredients. It's, it's kind of goofy, but I can see the appeal in that. The second product is the Polite Pout Glossy Lip Balm, $21, five shades. They say it immediately soothes and quenches dry lips while adding glossy shine with a hint of juicy color. NYX has officially launched their Buttermelt Press Powder Natural Finish Bronzer. This image of these products have been floating around the internet for a while, but NYX has finally dropped them. They are $10 each, eight shades. They say it blends like a powder and glides like butter for a sun-soaked bronze and natural finish, 12 hours of wear there. They also have the Buttermelt Bronzing Brush for $12, designed with dense bristles for seamless blending and buffing. Two more brand drops, first from Pure Cosmetics, the Silky tint creamy multitasking stick $26 four shades they say it is a creamy multitasking stick with peptides featuring light to medium coverage that effortlessly blends onto the skin with a soft focus finish and then their second product the on point tint creamy eyeshadow and primer $24 there they say that it features a luxe cream to powder formula with smoothing high performance pigments in shimmery crease resistant shades for effortless eyeshadow looks very, very interesting. I haven't really been that interested in creamy eyeshadows, like single shadows like that lately, but that one for some reason is calling to me. It brushes for Ulta. Usually they release heart-shaped brushes like this, but they have released a star-shaped brush. This is the limited edition star foundation brush. It is $33. They say it works for any liquid cream or powder foundation. The star-shaped brush head, quote, reaches every corner of your face for a flawless finish every time. And then finally, skincare company, Beauty by Bio drops some color cosmetics called Blend Drops, Priming Drops, all with Invisible, SPF 40, Oil Control Actives, and Skin Plumping, Transexemic, and Polyglutamic Acids. You can use them alone or you can blend them with your favorite moisturizer. They are $38 each, and there's three different ones bronzing, perfecting, which is blurring, and illuminizing. All right, PR purchased product of the week. Let's talk about the Nueva Vida palette by Gourmand Girls and Steph's Beauty Stash. This palette is freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is for the color lovers. And I was very proud of myself that I did not use anything outside of this palette for this look today. So I use the shade Blessed, which is this guy here, my friend. <sighs> It is something else. I also use the shade Dreamer and the shade Far. Those are the ones that are on my lid today. And we will swoosh, bloop. I'm gonna just kind of blend them a little bit so they don't look so wonky on my dry hands. So that is the three of those swatched. And then on my lower lash line, I use the shade The Convertible, the shade Cooper, and the shade Buster. I mean, look at that cobalt blue. My gosh, like ridiculous. So, so freaking pretty. Like I really do feel like that first shade though has my heart absolutely gorgeous. There is a similar shade in their nightshade palette. So I did want to swatch that next to it. This is called Dream Shade, just so you can see the difference between the two. You know what? I don't like the way that looks. Let, let's do them next to each other on my arm instead so it's easier to look at. So the first one on the top is going to be Dream Shade from the nightshade palette, and then we'll do Bless from Nueva Vida. 
so you can really see. So do you need both of these shadows? Absolutely not. But there is a difference in that the one from the Nightshade palette is just a tad bit more purple, and then the one from the Wave of Vida is a little bit more pink. But they're very, very similar. Grimon Girls actually found me because Doodles by the Bunny and I follow each other on Instagram, and I'm so, so thankful because I really, really love their formula. They're very easy to use, not a ton of fallout, very easy to blend, very easy to build. Just just a really great quality palette and the Nightshade palette was my favorite palette of 2023. So if you were interested in this, I definitely will put this on my recommend list even though I am still wearing this first impression just because I trust Gourmand Girls formula so much. And then I just wanted to quickly mention what's on my lips because this is a relatively new product. This is the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. And a lot of these products are coming out and I personally really like this. It's not sticky or goopy at all. Uh, the clicking on it is a little bit weird because you can't unclick it once you click it. So getting the right amount of product is a little bit tricky, but I really love see if I can get it to focus. I really love the glossiness of it. It's very pretty. The finish on it is pretty. It's comfortable. It's not sticky at all. And the color is really beautiful. It leans like a, mostly a lipstick with a tad of gloss added into it. It's just a really nice formula and I'm very much enjoying it. Notable sales this week we have from JLo Beauty. The deluxe five piece kit is $69.95. Plus you'll get two free gifts worth $160. Three for the price of two sale over at Makeup Revolution. The least expensive of the products that you choose will be the free one. And also this does exclude sale items. Up to 60% off over at Juvia's Place, up to 70% off over at Too Faced, and 30% off of all winter holiday items over at Hemp's. And in the I, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better dance, Sephora is currently copying Ulta's 20, it's not 21 days, it's like a, it's 21 days of beauty, okay? That's what it is. But they're calling it something else. I don't know what they're doing over there, but 21 days of beauty, I'm gonna be stubborn, just like I am with Twitter, not calling it X. It's 21 days of stink of beauty. <laughs> it's going on right now. Sephora is matching any way that they can. I also wanna mention that we just found out the dates of the Sephora sale that I'm sure Ulta will match because that's what they're doing with each other. The Sephora savings event will be April 5th through the 15th for Rouge members. April 9th is the start date for VIB and Beauty Insiders. The regular discounts that they've been doing for years also apply. So we've got 20% off for Rouge, 15% for VIB, 10% for Insiders, and then 30% off of Sephora collection. So again, the dates for that are April 5th to April 15th. And that, my friend, was What's Up in Make of This week. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thank you as always to the What's Up in Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so much for your submissions this week. I appreciate you oh so very much. Like I've been saying, I know you have so many choices of what you can watch and what you can do with your time. And the fact that you've chosen to spend your time with me really does mean so much to me. Thank you so much. If you are not already subscribed, just a gentle reminder, if you would like to, please subscribe. That way you can make sure that you know when I've uploaded a new video. And if you enjoyed this particular video, very easy. Just hit that little thumbs up button for me. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you again so, so much for watching. If you would like to hang out just a little bit longer. YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos for you over here to watch, including last week's product report. It's gonna be right there. YouTube's, YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on your viewing history, but if you do need to go, it is no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did, and I love to, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!